Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dirk van Gorp, and as Paul already mentioned, I am the Open Science Manager at the Robert University in the Netherlands, in Nijmegen, the city of Nijmegen in the Netherlands. And I would like to talk to you today about a citizen science single point of contact. Um, a single point of contact, the, the term already implies, what he refers to the fact that we are looking to create a single point of contact when it comes to citizen science. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, ask them in the chat and we will discuss some highlights also during the breakout rooms. Um, Paul already mentioned the term BSPOC. BSPOC, the term refers to broad engagement in science point of contact. It's not a, not a term I coined myself. It uh, has been coined by my uh, dear colleagues, Tiberius and Paul himself uh, in a, uh, another article, uh, which is show here on, shown here on the slide. And so what is a, a point of contact, a BSPOC, uh, a citizen science single point of contact for both researchers and citizens or non-academics or however you like to call them, as well as for other parties like governments, like media, et cetera, et cetera. Um, such a BSPOC potentially comprises an online hub or website to share institutional goals or policies, to highlight citizen science projects, perhaps uh, projects that are active within your university or in which your university participates, uh, to provide perhaps templates for uh, citizen science skills, for specific tasks, for, uh, sorry, there we go, framework, partner partnerships, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it can comprise a service desk to be an actual point of contact for people to, uh, answer to, to ask questions and for experts to answer those questions, uh, but also to act as a liaison or intermediate with, within and towards outside parties. Um, this can mean that it can act as, a, as an intermediate with uh, specific departments within your, un your university itself, but also as an intermediate with uh, other external parties. It can comprise a tool for communication and marketing to reach out as well as to stay in touch, which is of course very important for citizen science projects and naturally a pool of knowledge and expertise to help out. So uh, at our own Libra work group as for citizen science, we have created a strategic direction and the strategic direction is actually called infrastructures, but I call it my, I myself call it single point of contact. And the goal of this strategic direction is to deliver a template or a suite of templates with accompanying advocacy for a single citizen science contact point that could, but not necessarily should, be implemented in research libraries and or research support teams. Important components of such a single point of contact are uh, the following, the defined, a defined goal and scope, which is very important uh, to have for a single point of contact. Uh, it should be for both researchers as well as citizens, as well as possibly external parties, external parties depending on, uh, depending of course, on what sort of BSPOC you would like to be, but I'll get to that. Um, it should cooperate between divisions and services. You do, don't necessarily need to have all the expertise within your own team or within your own library. There's probably a lot of expertise within the uni university uh, in, as a whole. So make sure that you cooperate as much as possible. It can have a server de service desk function. It probably will have a service desk function, but once again, this depends on what sort of BSPOC you would like to be. And it can also, if you would really like to, to be such a BSPOC, can also offer courses for citizen science skills and trainer trainer workshops and stuff like that. If you actually have the expertise and the resources to, to actually create such courses and provide such courses. The deliverables for this strategic directives are uh, a suite of templates for the creation of a BSPOC at a university, uh, the creation of a website that acts both as a portal as well as, sorry, an online service desk and the setup of such an online service desk uh, the creation of content, com sorry, content templates, uh, templates focusing on uh, data management, uh, on train the trainer for a specific project, et cetera, et cetera, and perhaps also templates for courses. But this is not necessarily part of the strategic directive, but we would like to include it anyway. First of all, if you would like to create a BSPOC or a single point of contact for citizen science, uh, first of all, we, when you create such a BSPOC, uh, the first question you need to ask yourself is what, what sort of BSPOC do you want to be and what sort of BSPOC do you can be? Uh, there are several versions, several flavors you can, you can use. 
uh, you can act as simply an intermediary, a forwarding, forwarding service with relatively limited rights, limited responsibilities. Basically what you do is you act as a portal for people to ask the first question and then you forward the questions to people who know more about a specific topic. Uh, but it can also be an independent service and any, anything in between, of course, between the intermediary and the independent service. Um, an independent servant service with its own governance, its own legal backing, its own finance, its own, own team uh, and uh, dedicated personnel working on, on citizen science and helping people. Uh, possibly also personnel that has citizen science expertise themselves, have citizen science expertise themselves. So um, there are a lot of versions available and they can uh, lie somewhere in between or one uh, focusing more on one or the other. Should it focus on citizens and or scientists? Should it also focus on other parties? Do would you like to really be the portal for open for citizen science? And if you are the really the portal for citizen science, do you have the uh, option for other people, other parties, media, et cetera, et cetera, to get in touch? Uh, should it be library driven or should li the library only participate? Also questions that are important if you as a library would like to create a BSPOC. Some deliverables, deliverables we would like to, uh, to offer, we would like to provide to you, to the people, are uh, templates on people and networks. Uh, first of all, the creation of a work group for overall scope and goals, uh, creation of a team for implementation, maintenance, manning of the service desk, uh, templates for the creation of a network and the maintenance of networks for expertise and visibility, and templates for cooperation with other departments and services. Those templates we are currently working on and we would like your input on uh, these sort of templates if this is actually what you are looking for, uh, if you would actually use such templates. In addition, we would like to offer a portal and website templates for the creation of a service desk for forwarding uh, to relevant services and contacts, for basic communications, uh, for sharing news, and also for, uh, for people to actually get in touch. Uh, as well as the creation of a website that provide basic information on citizen science and uh, the, the BSPOC in general. Um, for sharing of best practices, a frequently asked question section it can contain. Uh, it can contain templates, policies that are uh, of relevance for your own university and naturally a contact page if you would also like to be a portal and actually a place for people to get in touch with. This is an example of such a template. Uh, this is uh, uh, not yet finished, but a fairly finished website portal uh, template page. This is not the full page, of course, it's only uh, only print screen. Uh, and such a template, we have created. We have several created several of such templates that a university can use. Uh, it's the information in it are more like general pointers, things to keep in mind, things to take into account when you would like to create, in this case, a website uh, for your uh, single point of contact. And so we have several of such templates available uh, and we would like to know from you if such a template is actually useful for you. In addition, some additional uh, deliverables we would like to create in the coming months, coming year or so is, uh, oh, sorry, the portal website part is, is incorrect, my apologies. Uh, there should be templates on data gathering, on uh, data curation, there's actually the actual content uh, information, content template. Approaching interested parties, parties uh, and citizens, ethics, legal matters, checklists, et cetera, et cetera. Um, templates perhaps, or a criteria for a tool or app curation. And if you are so inclined as a university, you might even consider creation of a tool or app that actually helps citizen science. And uh, on the bottom left, uh, also perhaps templates on citizen science, citizen science skills courses for research for citizens or training training courses. So that's it from my end. It's a very quick overview of what we're doing when it comes to uh, the single point of contact and the templates regarding such a single point of contact. Um, please feel free to contribute. We are here to, to offer this, to create these templates for your sake uh, so that you as, as, uh, as library personnel, academic library personnel might be able to create a single point of contact regarding citizen science for your university, for your own university. So if you have any comments, please let us know. Uh, hopefully you will have something to say during the breakout rooms, breakout groups in a, a few more minutes. And we would very much like to hear from you. It's still a work in progress, uh, but we're doing this for you. So please let us know what you think. <laughs>